So guys, today we are addressing a question that I get quite a lot, which is, how do you drop out of high school? So, quick disclaimer before we get into this video, I do not advocate dropping out of high school, I don't advocate dropping out of college, I don't advocate anything within that realm, I'm just sharing my personal experience because so many of you guys have asked. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First, let me tell you a bit about my... St sorry, I really need to stop playing with these things. Um, <laughs> digital marketing gets lonely. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let me tell you guys about my story and uh, the reasons behind how I, or the reasons behind why I dropped out of high school. So I have a funny, interesting family situation, which I'll tell you guys next year. Um, so I've always just kind of had to make my own money, uh, be the man for myself. Uh, take care of myself um but in the meanwhile i was obviously still, i was still going to high school uh and yeah you know my friends would call me up and be like yo dude you want to go to the movies and uh, i'd check my pockets and go i don't i don't even think i have enough to pay for the bus to get to the movies let alone the movies um so yeah i just kind of uh i was looking for ways to make money and uh around the time that i dropped out of high school or before then i was just doing simple freelance work you know because to me that was a simple equation you put time and money in uh, you put time in and that equates a certain amount of money and then you put a value on what your time is worth and that's how much money you get per hour uh, so yeah that's what i was doing and then i got more into the business side of things uh social media was a, initially how i first started social media marketing um yeah that was kind of how i got my start that with my personal brand which actually got me all those opportunities um so yeah the reason I dropped out of high school was because, dude, I was I was getting like two, three hours of sleep a night. I was trying to juggle both things. Uh, it was funny. I would sit in class and I would like look up. I was on my computer all the time and I would look up at my teachers and my teacher and I would just go like, and we both knew I was doing my own thing. Um, and yeah, I was pushing for a long time to drop out of high school. Um, but everyone thought about I was fucking stupid. Like my mom thought I was retarded. Even my own business mentor was like, even don't do it. This fucking ridiculous. Everyone else around me was like, dude, like what are you doing right um obviously now it, I, now i look like i'm a genius for doing it and stuff like that but at the time i looked just so fucking stupid um so yeah the, the reason behind why i dropped out of high school was because i genuinely at that point could not manage doing high school and business at the same time so there's a lot of you guys saying hey iman like you know i i want to drop out of high school because i want to start my business no you start your business you start your online business while you're in high school while you're in college while you're doing your job and then it gets the point it gets the tipping point right where you have enough money from your online business or whichever business you're doing that it can sustain your lifestyle uh, and let me tell you guys how i went about thinking about that so my business mentor um bob most of you guys know him uh he was my first ever like proper mentor uh now we're business partners uh he he met me at a really really shit place in my life uh once again i'll go into that in detail in sometime next year um and yeah he met me at a really shit place in my life and i'll be honest he opened uh some good opportunities for me uh i had to work really fucking hard for it but one of those things was actually going to amsterdam um for a little like project now it, i think i made overall from that trip maybe 800 pounds uh and i had still had to pay for my flights and stuff like that um but it was such a fucking proud moment in my life and plus 800 pounds it literally even in this was february was still good money to me uh so it was such a fucking proud moment in my life and i remember i sat on the plane back from amsterdam to london and I looked out the window i had a window seat uh, i looked out the window and i'm like dude this is the most proud moment of my life you know i i traveled i made money from it i did what i loved and you know i'm like how do i how do i do this how do i make my life this you know so i figured out what is my overhead and this is this, like people think oh you man you took the risk you burned the bridges you dropped out of high school no i thought about it systematically i went okay what is my overhead including rent because i wasn't paying rent at the time and i'm still not i'm moving out in like roughly two months um yeah what is uh what is you're gonna be your overhead including rent and to a level where you're you're you can live a good lifestyle and for me that was roughly three thousand two hundred dollars two thousand five hundred pounds look i live in london like i live i live in london i like to eat nice stuff and take care of my health and go to a nice gym i don't i don't really spend money on stupid shit um flashy cars watches stuff like that even though i've been very tempted um but like in terms of keeping my health up my overall lifestyle 
I like to keep it to a good level. Plus rent in London is just ridiculous. Anyway, so 2,500 was the number I came up with. So I went, okay, 2,500. How many months do you think you need in savings um, to make this like a viable option? And I went, okay, I need four months because four months will give me enough time. I, or I'm already in the burn the, uh, burn the boat, br burn the bridges. Um, is it burn the bridges and the boats? I, I, whatever. Like I'm already in that mentality, sink or swim, but four months is enough time for me to really get my shit together and, and take this properly. Um, so, okay, so I go, I need 10,000 pounds basically. And I need to get 10,000 pounds and I need that either lump sum in deposit or written contract, right? Binding written contract. So I go, all right, what's my time frame to do this? Because you need a time frame for these goals. I go, okay, if I can do it in the next eight weeks, then I'm going to drop out. And I did it in two and a half, roughly. In two and a half, I signed three and a half thousand a month pounds in retainers, binding contract. Um, and those contracts, all those contracts were th are for three months. So if you average it out, the last month lost, it made roughly 2,500 pounds. So that is uh, that was my thinking behind how to drop out of high school. Uh, and then I just went ahead and did it. And a lot of people don't know, but in London or UK, I, I was struggling. I, I, you know, I, I thought like it was impossible, but like, look, if you are self-employed and you've got your online business uh, and you can show that, you know, and you're making even a thousand pounds a month, you can drop out. Like, it's not an issue. You just talk to your school. My school tried to deter me. They're like, no, it's against the law, blah, blah. And uh, I really had to fucking fight for it. And it was a really, really fucking tough period in my life. And uh, for example, my, um, my relationship with my mother, completely, completely strained. My relationship with my friends, completely strained just such a stressful part of my uh, part of my life um so really it's not something that's easy you know and there's a lot of stigma around it as i said when people when when i first dropped out people thought it was fucking ridiculous uh for good reason you know and then now it's funny because all those people who are like deterring me all that shit now they're uh, now they're asking for to meet up for a coffee uh, for a quick 15 minute coffee to pick my brain but uh hey you know that's that's the way the world works um so yeah, that is my story. That is how I did it in terms of numbers wise, in terms of how I did it socially, law wise. As I said, just make sure you are registered as self-employed or you create an LLC uh, or here in UK LTD and uh, make sure you're working more than 20 hours a week. No one's really gonna check. No one's gonna knock at your door and check, uh, but make sure you're making anywhere, probably at least, at least like 500 to 1,000 pounds a month you know, uh, show that you're putting in effort and uh, yeah, you can drop out of high school before 18, but I do not recommend it for pretty much 99% of you. You know, I, I knew I was going to make it happen uh, because keep in mind, I had a track record, you know, I've been reading a book a week since I was 14. You know, I had, I've built up discipline. I've built up a work ethic, you know? So for me, I had a really good skill set going into this. Now that's all of that. As for, you know, we talk about financial vehicles a lot on here. How are you actually going to make that money? You know, how are you even going to get to your, how are you going to get to tipping point? How are you going to get to the overhead you need to get to realistically? And as I said, I have no attachment to any sort of financial vehicle out there. Um, realistically, online business is the only way to grow that quickly and scale that quickly. So, you know, in terms of online business, you have Amazon FBA, which is great. You know, there's people crushing it, um, but you need a bit of a startup cost for that. If you do go for it, you've got, um, uh, you've got a uh, drop shipping once again, great. You've got affiliate marketing once again, great with, uh, um, with F FBA and affiliate marketing. Really, if you want to get started properly, um, you need at least, a, a, I would say at least a grand to three grand. Um, then you've got stuff like social media marketing. Uh, once again, that's great because, uh, you don't really need much equipment. You know, you can start running ads, you can start doing the, uh, the, the management and the growth of, uh, cl uh, clients pages and like what to get one client at a K is so fucking easy, you know, and now you're making one K a month and that that's great that for most of you guys, I'll even cover your overhead. Um, and then you've got lastly, personal branding, uh, which is for me, I'm the biggest advocate of because you don't need any money to start. You know, you've got YouTube, you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, you can, you can get free traffic to your squeeze page, your mailing list, and then you can sell them on stuff, uh, whether that be your own stuff or affiliate marketing stuff. Personal branding is the one where you, I would say, per, first of all, personal branding and then social media marketing are the only two where you need zero money to start, zero money to start. Affiliate marketing, once again, zero money to start if you're running it through your personal brand, you know? Um, so yeah, 
first of all, figure out what are the practicality of it. Like for those that are thinking about it and you know, if you're thinking about it, then like, I, I honestly, I can't persuade you against it. I don't recommend it, but whatever, everyone's got to go through their own struggle um, or their own le learn things themselves. So first of all, figure out the numbers. What are the numbers um, for some of you guys have and have the conversation with your parents. Uh, if you're in college, it might be a bit different. I, I don't know where your situation is. I didn't have to have the financial conversation with my parents or my parent, my mom, uh, because look, like I, I make my own money. So like I'd, when you're not receiving any money, when you're taking care of yourself, like it, there was a lot less involved with all you guys, you're getting, uh, you know, cl uh, care from your parents. Um, and that most likely that will get cut off if you piss them off. So you have to think about these stuff, uh, the, the, the sort of stuff. So think about where practicality, practicality of it. What are the actual numbers? Uh, run the numbers through your head uh, and then think um, what are the social repercussions of it? You know, what's the stigma around it? Um, what are your parents going to say? Like, what are your friends going to say? Stuff like that. Um, I mean, look, all I can tell you is like I, I've dro I dropped out of school like six, seven months ago. You know, the look on people's faces now. It's just uh, it, it, it is the best thing ever. Ever, 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 you know, and I'm, I'm not really a spiteful guy. I'm a very understanding guy. I know why people do things, but it's just, I laugh about it and you know, I don't hold any grudges. Um, but uh, it's very, very amusing at this point, right? So first of all, what, what, what's the practicality of it? Is it even possible? Um, what's the practicality of it? Uh, then that's the first, if you get a green on that and you go, okay, the numbers add up and I, could, I can do that and that makes sense and this is the amount I need to get by X, X amount of time green light, then you go, um, what are the social repercussions? Well, my parents say this, 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 that green light. If you do get a green light, lastly, you got to pick your financial vehicle. Look guys, I don't care what you do. You can do Amazon FBA. Uh, and like, I, the thing is like I've formed partnerships and I, I have all of, all of my friends do one, like a form of this or, or all of my like business online business friends do one form of this. So I, I don't have any bias. Um, so look, you can do Amazon FBA. And all of these you can make easily, I would say with every single method, at least 30 K a month within after like two years, I would say minimum. So you've got Amazon FBA, you've got affiliate marketing, you've got uh, Amazon FBA affiliate marketing, you've got social media marketing, you've got drop shipping. I'm going to put Amazon and drop shipping kind of like in the same category. And then you've got personal branding. And once again, personal branding and affiliate marketing can go in the same category. Pick one, obviously, for beginners and for people who are in that situation, I think personal branding is by far the best way to go. Uh, quickest, easiest business to build. Um, if you know what to do, which no one knows how to do, like there's no information about how to go about personal branding, right? And in, with a business mind. So that's how I went about it. That's my personal story to clarify for a lot of you guys, because a lot of you guys are seven months on are still confused how I actually did it. Um, and yeah, as I said, I don't advocate anyone dropping out of high school. I don't recommend it for most people, but at least now you know that I went through it with a systematic approach rather than YOLO. Let's, uh, let's prove the haters wrong. Let's make all this fun. I had a systematic approach, you know? So I hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, if you did go ahead, subscribe, you know what to do. Uh, turn on that bell cause I've got lives and you can talk to me directly on my lives and that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I've got lives every Tuesday, Friday and Saturday. And let me know once again, I asked this in the last video, but what is your person? What is your goal with your personal brand in 2018? Let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.